Hello everyone and welcome to San Diego Market Movers. This is question of the week. Today we have Noel and Mitch. How are you guys? Good. Great. Yeah. We're good. So excited to have you today. Cool. The question of the week is, what are the most effective ways to maximize home sale prices in this low inventory market? The best ways to maximize home sale prices is to have proper marketing, first, okay. number one. Um, make sure the home is presentable. Um, you don't want to walk in there and mm -hmm. have smells and things. Uh, we always tell, you know, it's a generic, mm -hmm. kind of tell people you, you want to make the, uh, an, create a emotional environment for when the buyers, potential right. buyers come in and they want to make it feel like it's their home instead of some, they're visiting somebody's house. So we always try to make it neutral as possible for the people that are going to be showing, that are going to be entering the home. Mm -hmm. um, you know, family pictures, things like that, personal items. We try to keep those off to the side and maybe you know, if it needs some dolling up or any mm -hmm. smells or anything that are happening. Because, you know, you look at pictures on the MLS and they look really nice and then you get there and you get knocked over by a big, somebody has a bunch, 50 cats in the house or something. <laughs> right. So it's always good to um, do a little due diligence mm -hmm. with, with the sellers and meet with them and let them know the best way to market the property. Awesome. What do you do to market the properties? Um, I do uh, a lot of Facebook, Instagram, okay. um, get the word out to everybody. Uh, I do email blasts. Mm -hmm. um, circle dialing, circle prospecting, let yeah. everybody know that I got a listing coming up. Put the best foot forward. Some, uh, I have drone, f uh, pay for the best pictures. I like mm -hmm. to do uh, twilight photos. You know, he's a photographer and they do drone uh, shots uh, as well if it's, it's, if it's uh, applicable. Mm -hmm. um, so I try to put as much money behind the marketing as possible and as much um, effort into the marketing mm -hmm. up front before we hit the market. We like to hit the ground running, you know, so we like to have a we have our schedule for our listings. Mm -hmm. We have, you know, Monday cleaning, Tuesday staging, Wednesday mm -hmm. pictures, Thursday hit the market, and then you're ready for the weekend on the open houses. Or, or mm -hmm. And now that we have open houses, we're mm -hmm. going to be doing that again, which is excellent because we can great. answer object objections. We can uh, uh, get new buyers and potential clients yeah. and neighbors, you know, that come in. And, it's, you know, that's, that's what I do best. Mm -hmm. I don't like sitting behind a computer. I mm -hmm. like to meet people and uh, talk to them and, you know, network. Yeah. And we so. have an open house every weekend until it's under contract. Okay. Um, so we're continuously marketing the property. We also attend the broker caravan, so letting all the real estate community mm -hmm. know that we have an active listing ready for a buyer. Um, we, um, again, use a lot of social media uh, to help promote so that we can uh, let everybody know mm -hmm. that it's available for purchase. That's awesome. Uh, Exposure is. Mm -hmm. Right? And it sounds like you guys are doing an awesome job to get that exposure for your mm -hmm. clients. That's wonderful. And to make a good first impression, you know, because when you can't make a second, you don't have a second chance to make a good first impression. Right. So you want to make sure you hit the ground running and you, everything's ready to go at the time. You know, you don't want to hurry up and rush things yeah. and, oh, there's still a big hole in the wall over there. Yeah. Take your time, make sure you make a good first impression because if there's a hole in the wall, somebody comes in, they see it, and then you patch it, and then they're all still going to see that. They're always going to see that hole. Oh, I remember there was a hole there when we bought this house. You know, yeah. So, like, try to take care of any objections you can as much as possible to uh, to market the property, you know, so it makes it mm -hmm. a good product for the yeah. people that are buying it because they're paying top dollar now. Um, a lot of things that we're doing, we're helping to some of the sellers right now is to mm -hmm. upgrade their property a little bit, you know, bathrooms, kitchens, sell the best. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of, uh, we live in San Diego, we have a beautiful climate here, so we like to uh, stage something mm -hmm. outside, a little uh, patio furniture or something. Awesome. So people can enjoy, you know, when they yeah. come to the house, they can say, oh, I could kick it back here and mm -hmm. watch the view or whatever. And uh, so we like to um, help people get top dollar for their house if they can afford it, you know, if they can work with us and we kind of work with them. And just, you know, it doesn't cost a lot of money. But just to make a good first impression and have a good product because the people nowadays that are buying mm -hmm. they're working they don't want to go to home depot every weekend and fix yeah. up their house even though there's some houses out there that are selling with this market right now that are are not you know at top condition and people are buying them and they're fixing them up but it's yeah. it's a hard job to fix up your own house yeah <laughs> it is and preparation yeah. is key yeah so keeping that top of mind for your clients is, yeah. is wonderful for them that's great and we work with a professional stager too so even if the okay. home is owner occupied We'll have a stager come in and, you know, maybe they might recommend that, hey, you turn the couch this mm -hmm. way or uh, just take down, you know, move the plant over here and creating a more like inviting environment. Mm -hmm. um, it just by moving a couple of items really helps to open the space and make it feel bigger or mm -hmm. um, more cozy or whatever 
the home needs, it really it really helps. It makes a difference. Yeah, makes people envision where they're gonna live and feel comfortable. And I think, yeah.